I accidentally donated 15k to a poor community in Bangladesh. Now they think I'm a hero. My wife and I had moved into a new three-unit apartment building in San Francisco. One of our neighbors was a 70-year-old retired veteran, Joe. For context, Joe was a white American guy and he was also a devout Hindu priest. One day I ran into Joe in my hallway when he told me about this charity he managed for a community in Bangladesh. I wanted to support my neighbor and the charity, so I asked Joe to send me the GoFund link. The next day at work, I went on the GoFund page and donated $150. Or so I thought. Moments later I got a text on my phone warning me of an unusually large transaction on my credit card. I was confused and swiped to open the text message. It said I had made a payment of $15,041 to GoFund. Immediately I was sweating. How could I have donated $15,000? I spent the next 10 to 15 minutes retracing my steps and finally I realized my credit card started with the numbers 4 and 1. It seemed I had accidentally started typing my credit card information while my cursor was still in the donation box and just like that, 150 became 15,041. Yikes. I called GoFund support line in a panic and when I finally connected with the human, I explained what happened. No need to worry, he told me. They will initiate a refund of the transaction, which should process in 3 to 7 business days. That was a huge relief. But then I asked the agent if the charity would be able to see the donation on the GoFund page until it was refunded. What do you mean? The agent asked me. What do I mean? Was my response. Will they be able to see the $15,041 donation? Unfortunately, yes, the agent told me. He said they would be able to see it until the refund process was complete. I told him that was a big problem as the entire GoFund had hardly raised that much at that point. Surely they would notice their fundraiser doubling overnight. My plan was to knock on Joe's door the following morning to give him the full story so that he could pass it along to his contacts in Bangladesh. But when I woke up the next morning, I looked at my phone and saw I had 40 plus notifications on Facebook. Someone had sent me a friend request, had liked many of my old posts, and had sent me many messages. Immediately I was concerned when I saw that the individual messaging me had a Hindu name, but I never could have imagined what I saw when I opened his first message. The man had sent me a video of himself from Bangladesh, surrounded by dozens of impoverished and hungry people holding bags of food, thanking me by name, Michael, for my generous donation. A big round of applause for Michael, he said. At this point, I had leapt out of my bed and I was pacing. Part of me wanted to scream, part of me wanted to crack up laughing. I started swiping through the man's messages, and it was picture after picture after picture of poor Bangladeshis thanking me for my kind donation. Literally hundreds of photos of frail, elderly, disabled, and malnourished individuals holding signs with my name. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Michael, they said. I had uploaded a portion of the video and a few photos for you guys to see here. I would like to give so many thanks. So many love, he said in the video. The new donor, the very, very young and gentleman from California, USA. California. Needless to say, I couldn't live with myself just donating $150. After seeing how the community responded to the $15,041, I decided the least I could do was to add a zero. And so I donated $1,000 once the original donation was refunded. The charity's host was incredibly gracious and understanding, and he explained to me that $1,000 goes very far in Bangladesh for urgent food relief. Here is the charity's new GoFund link if you want to check it out. Ultimately, I think the whole experience was a win-win. I helped a great cause and I got a funny story out of it.